Oh, it's a hot one today. I've uh, just reviewed the R6 and I literally dropped it off and was like, there you go, it was awesome, thank you, but I'm going because I don't want to stand around while I'm this hot. Anyway, other subjects to talk about. Have you seen in the, in the, the news in the UK about a great white shark being seen on the south coast? Not Cornwall for once, more central, more close to me, more, well, hailing where I live. Uh, there's reports of a great white being seen just off the coast. And they say this has been going on for a couple of years. Now, to be fair, this is the first time I've heard anything about this. And, you know, my mum used to catch sharks. It used to be a hobby of hers. My family's very well connected, so we know people. But we've not heard anything about it. And let's take a step back, actually. Is it physically possible for there to be a great white in the waters off of where I live? Yes, it's physically possible. The temperature ranges they can live in, it falls within. It's a bit cold for it, I think, but having said that, no, other places they have more cold water that they can still survive in. Have we got the food chain for it? Is there enough things that it can eat? Well, great whites is they tend to eat seals and, and things like that. Uh, we do have seals, but we don't have that many of them. Uh, porpoises and dolphins, they can eat, and, and there have been reports of porpoises and dolphins and seals being found killed on the beach and they're saying oh this is a higher number than usual but the thing is how many of them had shark bites out of them because we don't really have many sharks around here that can actually take chunks out of like a seal or a porpoise I mean for instance poor beagles are a fish eating shark they don't really have the teeth for it you can tell the difference between a great white and its massive serrated blade teeth and other sharks well then there's the options of why is the story there has a large poor beagle or something like that been misidentified well the people who have reported this seem to be reliable sources and that's the strangest thing about this because very often these reports are from people who haven't got a clue what they're talking about and I, I've, I know how terrible people are at identifying animals when they don't really know what they're talking about. And we're talking big differences here that people just can't seem to notice. It's just, oh, it drives me insane. So misidentification, it's possible, but it seems unlikely if this person who's tagging these sharks knows what they're talking about, which they say that they do. I will know there, this shark tagger guy that's, that's reporting this shark, uh, there's no photographic evidence. There's, there's nothing, there's not a bit of video, not a bit of... I mean, you would have thought they would have a camera around regularly. I mean, maybe even have a GoPro set up. You know, if you think you can get the first confirmed Great White in UK waters, you could probably use that to your advantage. The other option, of course, is that it is completely fictitious. Now, why would anyone want to make up that story? Well, if you were friends with a charter boat, for instance, who did fishing trips for sharks, and people would then come and be like, oh, I'm going to come and catch that great white, then there's definitely a vested interest there to start something completely uh, fabricated to try and get more people down. I mean, I don't want to say Loch Ness Monster, but their tourism certainly didn't uh, suffer for it. I mean, the Loch Ness Monsters, I mean, obviously it's just complete crap. There is, there's no basis in truth there whatsoever. There's, um, there's a couple of YouTube channels done a very good explanation as to why just the course of history and the events and the, and the sort of physiological side of everything as to why it, it is just people talking crap and misidentifying stuff. There's, uh, yeah. It's pretty overwhelming. But anyway, great white shark. It's a real animal. That's a good start. It could physically be in our waters. There's another good start. They think they've seen one down in Cornwall before now. No, that's not so helpful because they get basking sharks down there and people are dumb. And they'll just see one big fin and go, oh, it's a great white shark because of Jaws. God, that film, Jaws, did so much damage to sharks. You know, villainized all sharks as bloodthirsty killing machines. And yeah, they can be, if you're their sort of prey item, but not 
just generally, there, there, there has to be a case of missing mistaken identity very often. You know, like the guy on the bodyboard from underneath looks a lot like a seal. And when you're a shark and you haven't got any arms and you want to just test something out, well, you tend to use your mouth. And when your mouth just happens to be full of razor sharp teeth, unfortunately, on soft bodied things like us, it doesn't work out too well. But I digress. Do I think there is a great white shark living or visiting during the summer months um, off the island I live on? I'd say there is a 10% chance that it is true. And there is a 90% chance that it is completely fabricated. I don't even think it can be anything in the middle, like, you know, falsely identified or something like that. I just, because the person who's supposed to know is supposed to know. They, they are the sort of person you want confirming these things. So did you hear about the story? I don't know how wide it went around the country because obviously being in the south, all the local places chucked it out because it was like, oh, look at this, great white sharks right down here. It was a local story to go mad about. But I don't know, did it get around the country? Anyway, there you go. I have had a couple of people sort of say, oh, what do you think about these sharks? This great white shark supposed to be sort of visiting over the summer months. Yeah, as I say, I'll still be going swimming. Having said that, if there was a great white there, I'd probably still go swimming. You should always question these sorts of stories and think about how, uh, how someone could make this up and how they could benefit from it. It could be as simple as a charterman getting a few extra people on board. Or it could be the truth. Who knows? Anyway. If I can't stop yawning, I'm going to go. Bye-bye.